guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have some new Cosmic Brushes palettes to try out for you guys today. These goodies launched a couple weeks ago over on their website. Cosmic Brushes is a UK based indie makeup brand. So shout out to all my UK beauties out there. They do offer free shipping in the UK. Uh, I believe it's 40 pounds or over. And then they also offer free international shipping when it's 80 pounds or over so I, I i'm not too sure i'm not too sure on the system i i know that this palette right here this is the delicious delights eyeshadow palette this beautiful 20 pound palette retails for 33 us dollars now in here you're getting a duochrome mattes shimmers this palette swatched out really really well in the frosting highlighter trio right here this palette retails for $21 and all three of these highlighters are buttery smooth so good this is my second experience with cosmic brushes I have uh, the palettes that they released last year what is it called the name escapes me but I have a video on it and I'll have that video uh, linked in the description box in case you want to go back and check that video out as well but um, I had a really good experience with that palette love the color story this is a little more pastel leaning you guys know how I feel about pastels but I am still gonna try it out I'm gonna go in with an open mind I'm probably gonna have to be put putting down a white base to really make them pop but I'm really excited for this release if it is your first time here on my channel let me just say hello and welcome to all of you and invite you to become part of our makeup family do me a favor click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video and if you are a fan of indie makeup if you love pastels if you're a big fan of cosmic brushes I want you to give this vi this video a big thumbs up before you go let's get started with <sighs> I'm gonna do three looks and obviously, I already have my makeup on. I forgot I ordered the highlighter palette. So let's jump into look number one. And I'm going to apply one of the highlighters on top of what I already have. So I totally forgot, totally forgot that I had ordered this palette. I believe I ordered this while I was on vacation. So naturally, I forgot. This is the highlighter I am currently wearing. It is from ColourPop. And that's what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty, but we're going to add, you know what? We're going to add all three on top of these already glowy cheeks. I'm going to go in with my AOA Studio F19 brush. I'm going to start with this shade down here. This has a little more purple shift to it. This one is called Blueberry Muffin. And that highlighter I'm wearing from ColourPop also has the same type of shift to it. Very smooth, very buttery, love it. Okay, now I'm gonna flip the brush around and I'm gonna go into Golden Apple. Let me know if you guys, ooh, look at that. Let me know if you guys picked this up. What has your experience been? Mine arrived yesterday. So I'm very, very excited to be playing with this. Okay, clean off my brush. I'm going to go in with Cinnamon Swirl, which is the one in the center. Pick up a little bit of that. We'll do a little bit up here. We'll do a little bit on the Cupid's bow. I've done this before. I put on my lipstick. The one I'm wearing is from Rare Beauty. It's one of their tinted lip oils. This one is in the shade Hope. I think that is enough highlighter. I am very glowy. You can see the more silver, blue, purple leaning over here. And then this one definitely has more of a gold reflect. The one I just applied is going to have a little more pink, reddish reflect to it. So I think this is a very nice highlighter palette for 21 bucks. I think it's definitely worth checking out. Um, like I mentioned earlier, both items are currently sold out, but I do know they plan a restock really soon. So just click that sign up for notification in stock notification that way you can be emailed when it does come back in stock all right so i've already primed my eyelids with the sugar drizzle eyeshadow primer that is my go-to eyeshadow primer of the moment but i think 
I'm gonna try the first look with the sugar drizzle primer and then for the second look and perhaps the third look I'm gonna go in with a white base and I have one from elf and I have one from Moira so both super affordable let's open up this beautiful palette and let's see where we want to start I mean I'm wearing a lime green top so I <laughs> want to try this one but I want to wait until I put the white base down so I might leave this lime green for the third look um, I think I am going to let's see I think I'm going to start off with this shade up here I have a little bit of the packaging there um this one is called lollipop taking lollipop on a game beauty e01 just going to pack that in the crease that is some very good pigment very good payoff now I think I'm going to go in with this really dark purple shade. This one is called Charms. Taking Charms on a Refer 13. I love purple and blue together. I think it is such a fun color combination. And I love that this palette has given us some depth to where it's not just a full on pastel palette there are obviously some deeper shades like this one that can help deepen up the look because on me i feel like pastels they just kind of wash me out a little too much that's why they're not particularly my favorite shadow to work with for me i really need that white base in order to make them pop even like the neon shadows and stuff I really need the white base. Guys, right in here, you see where I'm putting my brush right in here? The last three or four days, my eyeshadow has been getting a little patchy right in that same spot. It has something to do with my eye. It is not the shadow because it's been happening with like four different palettes already. So it's just, it's just me. I think it was when I was doing that dermaplaning, I nixed myself i know this other eye if you can still see a little bit of it over here but yeah that's that's why it is not the shadow please don't think that now i'm going back in with the shade lollipop just really lightly just to go over kind of blend mesh everything together now i'm going to bring out my moira white eyeshadow primer because i'm going to cut the crease a little bit and then we're going to go in with one of these beautiful shimmer shadows now I'm going to go in with this shimmer shadow. This one is called Fizzy, and I'm going to take that on a damp Morphe M709. What I do is I pick up the product first, and then I just spritz it with a little Max Fix Plus. Maybe we can do two shimmers here. Focusing this on the inner portion, and then I think I see a beautiful blue that we can do on this outer half. Yeah, that is really pretty. Okay, same brush. I'm just going to flip it over and we're going to go in with this shadow. This is a, a duochrome. It's like a blue to purple shift. Wow, that is gorgeous. Ooh, guys, good vibes from this. Good vibes. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do this beautiful blue shade. This one is called Slushy. I'm taking that on a Refer 26. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this shade down here at the bottom. This one is called Delicious. This is going to have like a pink lavender shift to it. And I'm going to use that same Refer 26, but I am going to spray it. To me, I feel like this is going to be more of a topper shade. That's the vibe I got when I swatched it. We can actually add a little bit of this. I'm going to pick it up with my finger and do some like right here just so that you can see what I mean. That is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to pick some up with my finger. You can see how light it is. And just tap it. These kind of shadows that are real light, they're just meant to be tapped on the lid just to give that added bit of sparkle. Now I see we have a matte white in here, which I'm loving. Um, 
don't think I'm gonna add that to the brow bone. I don't wanna mess with it. I feel like I have a good blend going on. Let me pop off camera, do some finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. So here's the completed look number one. I absolutely love the way this looks. Two things that I know for sure I'll be using in today's video is this new Essence Lash Like a Boss Mascara. This is a curling and lifting mascara and this is the second day that I use it and I'm excited to keep trying it out because I had a really good first day experience with it the other day. I'm also using a, another new Essence product. This is their new brush tip eyeliner. That's what I use to tight line the top lash line. For the lower water line, I'm using one of the new multi uh, sticks cream shadows from uh, sugar drizzle these are available now on pre-order you guys sold them out so anytime you want to shop over at sugar drizzle you're welcome to use my affiliate code stuff 10 that will give you 10% off of your order but these are available on pre-order if you want to grab a one or all the entire bundle um, the one I used is silk warm and I use the warm side which is the lighter side it has like a, a white purple reflect to it. So now I'm going to move over to the left eye and I'm going to put down this white Moira base first and then we're going to start working with perhaps the lime green because you guys know I'm so excited about green but so far look number one is definitely a winner. Okay so let's start with I want to do I think the white for the inner corner and then I'm going to work my way into the green and then I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna go from there. But for sure, I'm gonna be working with these two shades. The white is called Whipped Cream, and the green is called Zesty. I'm using a Game Beauty E03 for this matte white shade. Bring it down just a little bit. Same brush. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Zesty. And I'm also gonna put that on the lid and take it up into the crease. Actually, I think I'm going to just bring this all the way out and I'm probably gonna have to switch brushes right now. Do you see what the white does? It really makes it bright. It makes it pop more. And trust me, in person, it is way more neon than it translates to on camera. So I like that. I think that looks really fun. Uh, I don't know that I will deepen up the outer corner or anything like that. We could leave this as a lighter look and just do some type of pop in the center. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know really what shimmer shadow I want to do. I don't know about the pink. I'm gonna do, let me go down to the lower lash line. I'm gonna do this shade on the lower lash line. This one is called Jelly Bean. I'm using a BK204. Okay, liking that. Now on a rougher 03, I'm gonna try this pink shimmer candy floss. And I am gonna spray the brush. Do a little bit of that down here. I guess we can just leave the top all matte, right? Yeah, that looks cute. Something quick and easy. Doesn't always have to be deep, dark, and dramatic. I like that. Okay, I am going to do finishing touches off camera, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number two. All right, so here is the completed look number two. A little bit different. I wanted to do the pink on the top lash line and I use this one from Moira Beauty. For the lower waterline, I use my green eyeliner from Timu. This one is in the shade PS03. That's what I did in the lower uh, lash line. And same everything else. I love it. It's a different take on a look. Spring, summer vibes all around. I love the way both looks turned out. I'm going to go take some pictures. I'll probably end up removing this look and I'll be right back and we'll start creating the third and final look with the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights palette. All right, so let's get started on the third and final look. Uh, I feel like playing with this shade. I 
think I want to do, and in these pinks and lavenders, I haven't gotten a chance to use those yet. This duochrome looks beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is do this in the crease. I'm going to use this shade to deepen it up. Actually, no. Let me start with the yellow up here. Then I'll move down here and then I'll move there. Those are the three mattes we're going to work with. This first one is called Buttercream and the second one is called Gingerbread. I did lay down that white Moira base and I'm using a Ruffer 16 for the shade Buttercream. This is just going to be like a transitional shade up here above the crease. Now I'm going in with Gingerbread on a Ruffer 14. I'm going to focus that in the crease. Now with that same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Jelly Bean. That's what I used for the second look on the lower lash line. I'm going to focus that out here. Very nice. Getting a really good blend out of these shadows. Now we're going to go in with this duochrome called Sprinkles. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. So pretty. And this is a smooth shadow. Now I'm going to go back in with gingerbread for the lower lash line using a BH Cosmetics pencil brush. I think I'm going to bring down that duochrome a little bit like in the inner corner. Pick some up with that BH Cosmetics brush. right in here. I think I pick up too much. Ooh, how stunning that is. Now I think I want to add that deeper purple shade. I know I've already used it, but it is the deepest shade in the palette. I think I want to really tight line the lower lash line with that. Look at how gorgeous that is. How am I going to choose? I need to film another video after this and I'm obviously not going to film it with two looks. I don't even know which look I'm going to remove. I don't know. Maybe I will film it with these two different looks. <laughs> it's my June favorites video. Okay, um, let me get, let me get a small little brush. I'm going to use my Ruffer 23. I'm going to go in with that dark, dark purple. This one is called Charms. And I'm going to just tight line right in here. You know, guys, and I didn't get little, if any, fallout from this palette. I love this. I love this so much. Let me go off camera and do the finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you this third and final look. So here is the third and final look. I love it. I love it so, so much. Same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. I went in with this e.l.f. No Bud Shadow Stick. This one is in the shade Bombshell. I think it pairs perfectly with the look. I love it. I had a good time. A really good experience with this palette. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. All right. So three looks later, three highlighters later. I am giving this new Cosmic Brushes collection two big thumbs up. I had a beautiful time working with the highlighter palette, which is so buttery, creamy, smooth. I loved it. When I recreated um, this eye look, I added this highlighter because some of it had rubbed off when I was taking off um, the second look. So I added this highlighter over here to the left side and now they're matching and I absolutely love it. This is a really cute eyeshadow, I mean a highlighter palette and for 21 US dollars I think it is definitely something worth adding to cart once it comes back in stock. The uh, Deliciously Delights palette is stunning. 20 beautiful shadows. There was a few I didn't get to use. Like I didn't get to use this shade here. I didn't get to use this shade. I didn't get to use that shade. So I'm definitely going to have to play with this a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to do my best to do a Instagram reel and a YouTube short where I create another look with this palette. But I am here to tell you this is pastel palette done right, um, especially because we're getting like these two deeper shadows. Even this blue down here um, can help deepen up the 
the looks for me that I'm kind of, you know, on the fence with pastels. They aren't my favorite shades to work with. Um, this I found was a palette where I got depth, maybe not full on depth, but a good medium to kind of a deep, um, deep tones in here. So I really enjoyed working with this palette. I found that the mattes that I use blended out beautifully. I've got very little to any fallout guys. Like this is a pretty solid palette. This is my second experience with Cosmic Brushes. They are a UK based indie makeup brand. And so far I have been very pleased. Let me know if you pick this collection up, what has your experience been with Cosmic Brushes? Definitely sign up for the email notification. That way you'll be notified when this does come back in stock. But I am here to say if you're on the fence about it, it's a winner. It's a good one. Let me know which look you like best. Are you team one, two, three, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.